Hey guys, what is up? Impulse back again today, and uh, I've got a pretty good gameplay for you guys. I end up going 97, and I actually have no idea how many deaths. <laughs> um, uh, it'll be in the title for sure, um, but I, I know I get 97 kills, so that's pretty good. And um, yeah, I'm using the gold PD or diamond PDW, and uh, check this out. I throw a beautiful C4 through the door. Nope. <laughs> kill myself right there. Uh, that's super annoying. I don't know why that happened, but I thought I could get it, manage to squeeze it through the door and get that guy out there, but I guess not. So, anyways, um, this is an easy 100 plus fail right here. Um, I'll point out when I die, or well, obviously you'll see when I die, but I die like one kill off my VSAT, like my second VSAT or something, which could have been the easy 100 plus 100. And then uh, at the end of the game, actually too, I'm like staring at a guy. I'm, I have 97 kills, and I'm like one off my next uh, load star, and uh, I'm staring at a guy, and then the game ends. Um, so it could have been such a better gameplay, but whatever. 97 kills is not too bad. Um, so anyways, I'll go over my class setup for you guys. Um, I'm using the Diamond PDW, like I mentioned before, with the Silencer and Fast Mag attachments. Um, my perk setup, I'm using the Perk 1 Greed, which is uh, which I chose uh, Hardline and Ghost. Um, those two I'd probably recommend the most. You could, or you could go Hardline and uh, Flak Jacket. Both those are pretty good setups. And then uh, second perk, I use Scavenger. Third perk, I'm using, what is it? Uh, I think it's... Dexterity, yeah, it's dexterity, and I don't know how I didn't die right there. There was a little missile thing that came down from above, and uh, it should have killed me, but I don't know how it didn't. So uh, that's kind of nice, actually. Um, usually, Call of Duty doesn't go your way, but right there it did. Um, so you can see right here, I pick up my first load star, and uh, I decide to call it in right here. Um, a good, a good setup if you're running a load star and a swarm. I'd recommend calling your load star before you get your swarm, or like, cause, cause once you call in your load star, it pretty much guarantees you your swarm, if you know what I mean. Cause it, you'll get quite a few kills with your load star, and uh, with all those points that you get from those kills, it'll pretty much get you your swarm uh, most of the time, at least, as you can see it did right there. So um, tr try to call in your load star, like if you can. Um, before you get your swarm just to guarantee you get your swarm because I know a few times I've gotten my load star and then I try and get my swarm by getting a few more gun kills except for I run out there and then I die by something dumb or something like that so um, a good little tip uh, call in your load star and then that'll like pretty much guarantee you your swarm if that's the score streak setup you're running um, and when you're playing on drone this is a pretty bad map in my opinion but um, when you're playing on drone or like any map where there's like a high point like at the flag like you can see C flag is overlooking like the rest of the map kind of um, you want to rush the enemy spawns a lot and see right there I die like one off my load star or something but uh, and then here I skip to the second round but you really want to rush the enemy spawn um, you can see that's what I do like throughout this whole gameplay the enemy team has C flag like pretty much the whole game I think and uh, I constantly rushing their spawn and pushing it and if you once you like do it a little bit you'll get good at it like right here you can see they're spawning all around me. It's super risky, but uh, once you start rushing spawns a little more, you'll kind of figure out like where they're actually going to spawn after you kill them, uh, which helps you stay alive longer than their spawns, and it's super easy to get uh, your kill streaks this way. And uh, if you're running a VSAT too, you can see it. They're spawning all around me, and it just helps so much to have a VSAT up because then you just know exactly where they are and if they're looking at you or not. Um, and yeah, so right here I get my second uh, load star. Um, Lodestar is actually a pretty good kill streak. I definitely recommend it. I've gotten, a, I've been using it a little bit more lately, uh, just to try and go for those higher kill games. And uh, it, it, I've had some really good load stars, like where I can get like maybe 20 kills with one load star. It's pretty insane. Um, and I find it's more consistent than dogs. Whenever I run dogs, um, like one game maybe dogs will do really good. They'll get me like 15 kills maybe. Um, and then. The next game they'll get me like three kills. It's such an inconsistent kill streak. Um, I'd rather run the load star right now uh, on these open maps at least, just because then you're pretty much guaranteed more than like the five kills that dogs sometimes get, uh, because it's pretty easy to pick them off like this. And uh, once you know where they're gonna spawn to, um, you can pretty much load star them right off the spawn, and that's pretty good tactic uh, but anyways the, the gameplay is pretty much wrapping up here you can see I get my next VSAT right here and then I was about to get my load star when uh, the game pretty much ends right up here so um, I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay um, not a not a bad score and uh, please drop a like rating if you did enjoy and uh, I'll talk to you guys later anyways guys I'm out peace